In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the number one Modern Warfare 3 player. So here are the leaderboards for career in Modern Warfare 3. Number one is a cheater. 15,000 score per minute is unrealistic. Three days played, 100 matches played. It, no, literally a cheater. Number two, this guy actually shares his account. There's multiple people who plan it. It's just not one guy. But number three is my boy Desire. And he was actually number one in Black Ops Cold War as well. So he has 1,600 score per minute. 3600 games played and then 23 days played and what's really interesting about him is he's also number one for kills as well now i contacted desire and he sent me a screenshot of his stats so what i want to take a look at are his top weapons almost 100 thousand kills with the haymaker he has more kills to the haymaker than i do overall in Modern warfare 3 85 000 with the gg56 and 62,000 with a pistol there's his 11 KD, seven, I mean, he wins almost every single game. His most kills is 307. That's one of the gameplays we're gonna be taking a look at. The man's the real deal. If you guys wanna see a video of me nuke racing him or 1v1ing him, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and click the thumbs up button. With all that being said, let's get into these gameplays. So for the first gameplay we got, this is the quad nuke. So four nukes, 430 gun streaks in one single match of kill confirmed which is genuinely unreal he's using the haymaker which he again has 100 000 kills with obviously if he wants to maintain his status on the leaderboards of career and kills he needs to get a lot of score and get a lot of kills what's the best way to do that you're gonna want to play the smallest map in the game where you can maximize your kill and score efficiently and get a lot of it done in a short amount of time so that's why he's playing shipment and then this Haymaker build, honestly, I could ask him for this class setup and I could use it for myself and share it with you guys and, you know, we can make a video on that. Again, there's so much we could do here, so just make sure you guys are subscribed and then click the thumbs up button, but... Dude's at a, on a 12 gun streak ready, match has been going on for a minute. So again, if you want, if you want to maximize your score, you want a leaderboard grind, all you want to do is just play small map mosh pit or shipment 24-7. And maybe be as toxic as him and use the shotgun because i mean i honestly didn't realize how busted it was i i don't think i had the right build on it how do you dude dude how do you stop something like this how the game's been going on for a minute and a minute and a half a minute and a half and he already has a nuke a minute and a half and the game is still going Oh my god. He just took out five of them with one. Yeah, that Haymaker kit, I didn't realize was this gross. I used it for myself, but they nerfed it too. This is after it's nerf. No. There's just no counter to it either. There, he finally died. He finally died. Oh my god. It is literally non-stop action. Also, something that I noticed is he's using the DDoS, which is an EMP. And once again, you get score when you call it in. You, you get like 100 plus score, maybe even more, when you EMP. And with Shipman being such a small map, that DDoS or the EMP effect basically affects the whole map. So again, he is just trying to maximize the score, stay number one, stay on top, while also simultaneously getting, I mean, I don't even know how many kills he gets in this one, but he gets a lot of kills, which is going to keep him on the, both the kills and career leaderboard. So he literally gets on and just does this all day. So, I mean, again, when if your only mission is to leaderboard grind, it, it, I bet this gets really boring, like doing this over and over, just shipment, shipment, shipment. You got to pop off every single game, especially if you don't have time to play or something, just to stay in the leaderboards. And I don't think there's many other people doing this, man. This is just a different level of just... Y'all don't see me doing this. Golly! This makes me want to try that Haymaker build. Did he get another nuke there? Let me go back. Yeah. Yeah, there's the Juggernaut. That's the second nuke. Okay. He already has two nukes. He probably could have gotten more if his teammates didn't get tagged or anything like that. But since he's using a shotgun, it's probably so much easier for him to run in, into the, the tags like that. I don't think, I think he could care less. Also, getting the tags is going to give him score. So keep him high on those leaderboards and maintain number one and get a far lead on it. The fact that he does this by himself and he's 
you know? Like, there's a people account sharing, which there's nothing wrong with, but it's hard to pinpoint, you know, who the guy is, but he's doing this all by him goddamn himself. No cheats or nothing. And again, he was number one in Black Ops Cold War as well. Unreal, man. The willpower to do this. And in this game, I... I forgot who was number one in, um... In, uh, Modern Warfare 2. But this is essentially what those people, those guys do who, who want to grind on the leaderboards. It used to be such a big thing back in the day. I wish it was still a big thing. It's just not a lot of people care, but... The ones who do will go all in for it, man. And I really do respect that. He's about to get another nuke here. He's five kills off of the other nuke. I'm just... Oh my god, this is gross. 29, 30. Three nukes. That is nuke number three. That moron trying to snipe. Bro's like, take me out already. Yep, it's been five minutes. He has three nukes. He could have gotten six realistically if th the next five minutes went through because of his pacing. He could do it, but I'm guessing this probably gets sh cut short. He's already on a six. This is going to be for four nukes in a lobby. I'm curious how many kills he ends up with here. Unreal, man. This makes me... I, I, want, I need to use a haymaker. I really do. There's the EMP again. He got like 40 XP. Not a lot. Not a lot. But it does come in handy. I'm curious. He must be running scav where he doesn't need to run an ammo box. I feel like I always run out of ammo. I don't see him running out of ammo at all. I get it's the haymaker, but does it come with that much ammo? Am I faded? There's not much time left in this game. He's on a 25, bro. A 25. I just said he was on a 6, like, seconds ago. I think he knows he's about to get a 4th nuke, so he's playing for it. Interesting gun choice, though. Because a lot of people would choose, like, an SMG or an AR. This guy has this toxic shotgun. Let me see. Did he get it? Got an assist. Did he die here? 11. Oh my god. Dude, top right, it says he's on the 30. He's popping off so hard that the the pop-ups top right are not even keeping up with what he's doing in-game. Oh my god. It said he was on a 30. That was his third nuke, which is like two minutes ago. Nah. That is... No. I've never seen it that the, the, the game that delayed. There's not a lot of time left. There's only like 20 points remaining in this game. Okay, he's on a 12 right now. Nice, on a 14. Just, just got three of them like that with these. That's all. Nice and free. He's halfway to his nuke. There's only like, oh, wait, just, how does he get the fourth? There's no way. There's no way he gets the fourth. Dude, I wouldn't be surprised if I missed it. Wait. Did I miss the fourth nuke? 24. No. Oh, it goes to 125. There's only five tags left in the game. Wait. He needs one kill. Two tags left. Oh, my God. There's one tag left in the game, and he clutched up that fourth nuke and was able to call in the one he got. I don't care how bad the other team is. It genuinely takes real skill to maintain that 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 pacing. 167 kills he ended up getting with four nukes. My God. All right, now this gameplay, again, I'm sorry it's on shipment and with the same weapon, but again, when, when he's a leaderboard grinder, it, it's going to be a repetitive thing for him to do. This is his 307 kill gameplay now. Um, hard point shipment. Now, my highest kill game is... I don't even know what it is. It's not 300. I've never gotten 300 kills in this game. So you know what? Maybe I'll actually learn something from this, and I can actually get 300 kills in this game. Again... The other team's probably absolute dog meat. They're probably terrible. But once again, the pacing 
takes some skill, man. No matter how bad the other team is, for you to be on pace to get 300 kills in one single game, skillful in my personal opinion. He got stim shots on. I don't know if he had stim shots before, but I wasn't really paying attention because I mean, dude, this haymaker is so dumb. I, I'm gonna try this out. I, I need to try this out. I don't know how many nukes he gets, but again, he, this is more based off his kills. And something I find interesting is um, the only kill streak he has on is the VTOL. So that's the only other thing getting him kills besides his weapon is his VTOL. He has a uh, advanced to AV and an EMP, just like I usually run. Those are it's such a deadly combination. You can see where they are, and then the EMP just completely disables everything going on. They're hard. They don't know anything. And then he has stim shots. I don't. I don't have any equipment on because my vest doesn't allow me to do it. I'm curious what, what vest he's using. Again, I'm going to ask him about his build. And I'm going to have to try this out for, your, for himself. I want to I wanna play like the number one player for a day. Nothing too crazy so far. Not, like, not the most insane pacing. That kill confirmed game, dude. <laughs> he just sat in the middle of the map, just trapping them in all four corners. All right, this is where the pacing usually picks up is when you got that EMP up. The health regen in this game is really, really slow. So those stim shots, like, seriously come in handy because you can just instantly get all your health back and just get right back into the action. Because the health regen is, like, seven seconds or something. That's a long time. Like, imagine how much time you spend in-game waiting to regenerate your health. It, that probably adds up to close to a minute throughout the, in, in the entirety of a match. So having those stims on definitely saves him quite a bit of time and lets him get back into what he's doing. Dude, ship and spawns are so busted. Look at the range you get out of this, too. I ain't gonna lie, this is the biggest... There's this nuke. Oh my god, that was super clutch. This is the biggest... Do you know how annoyed I would be to run into this dude? He plays like a dick. I would not want to play against this. Oh my god. It is fun. It's fun to watch him from this side of it. Imagine watching it from the, from the enemy team. God, I'd be so aggravated. I'd have been gone. I mean, dude, you're just no, there's no way to counter a shot, uh, but a 60 round automatic shotgun like this. You know how Call of Duty values their shotguns. They love them. The spawn trap is so gross. There's this EMP again. Or the DDoS effect. That's so interesting to me, um, to have that DDoS on. Let me make sure are we have max quality. Yeah. He sends it to me at 1080p, so... Bear with me here. He's losing some frames. He is on console, which I, I find that to be impressive. So if people want to say he's cheating, how are you going to cheat on console? You know what I mean? I respect that. For as much time as he plays, man, got to be playing on PC. It's a different experience. It really is. Well, for this to be done on, on console is so impressive, in my opinion. It really is. I mean, you get less frames on PC and all that type, or on uh, console. The experience overall is just so much better on on um, PC, but you're definitely being the, the hack accusations when you're playing on console. People usually tend to stay quiet after you tell them, oh my God. People tend to stay quiet when you tell them you play on console. How are you cheating on console? Tell me. Watch your back. No, he died off his second nuke. Dude, he's at not. Oh, wait, 99. This is his 100th kill right here. 100 kills, and look at the score in time. His pacing is insane, man. He catches them off spawn and kills like half the team to the in, like to the whole lobby almost. How long is this gameplay? Oh my god, this is a 50 minute classic. Good lord. This cement, this had to have gone to the very very end. It had to have. He got all the streaks again. That's all that matters. Because once you get that advanced man, you know where they're at, and you can really pick up the pace. You don't got to play slow. I also find it interesting. He uses the, the VTOL over, like, the Overwatch or the Swarm. The Swarm kills you a lot, though, so I understand that, but... I don't know. I don't see his, v his VTOL doing much. I prefer the Overwatch, because it at least pings enemies. I don't know. Dude, this shotgun. Like, that is the most silly thing in the entire game. 
I don't blame him though. I really don't. It is definitely very unique and different because again, other people who I've reacted to in the past who were top on the leaderboards always use submachine guns. Whether it was like uh in Cold War, the LC10 or like the Bullfrog or the Tech 9 in MW2, the mini back. What other COD games were back then? Um it was always usually an SMG. Always an SMG. I never really see people use shotguns, people who are leaderboard grinding or, you know, the top of the top. But, I mean, it takes, like, zero skill to use. It's super easy to use. It, you can kind of shut your brain off and just spray and pray. So I get it. The fact that he plays the middle of the map, too, is pretty insane. Because I personally like to stay on the, on the, the outsides and high glitch, but... Again, it's probably because I'm using, you know, uh, like an AR, an SMG, or something like that. When you have something like this, you probably just want to stay, like, in the middle, where you can kind of sit around the corners and play up close. There are those bad spawns. You got a second nuke right there. Dude, the range on that. This is so dumb. 35 gun streak. Are right, still going? Literally only died because it was out of range. Time to reset and get all your streaks again. So he has two nukes. I, I don't know how many he gets in this. He just told me that he dropped 307 kills. So he's already gotten two. If he gets another quad nuke, another four nukes in a game, I will be astonished. So he's halfway through the game. Halfway through, he has 152 kills already. He ended up with like... 307 so he's already halfway there i feel like he has more time though but the game is halfway over due to due to the score being his teammates playing the, the, the hard point here the sheer amount of luck that you had that you have to have though for the time to go on and the, the game to be closed and score like this it's unreal and then for you to also be on your a game and and, and continue your pacing it, it, everything just, just needs to be aligned. And I just haven't had this sort of luck yet, man. It's either the game lasts the whole way through and I just be choking my streaks. I really hope I can get 300. I've done it before, like in all other games. This is like one of the only ones I haven't done it in. These guys are getting choke slammed right now. Like literally through the table. So far, so good. I also find it interesting how he waits to to die before he calls in the VTOL. I think it's because it can see. Okay, see, he died. Now he's gonna sit here, call streaks in. I've noticed that pattern throughout this game and uh, that kill confirmed match. He would just kind of wait till he dies to call in that VTOL. I wonder if it's because it could kill him and he doesn't want to like cut off his flow. God damn. I gotta give a lot of props to the other team for actually staying through this entire match. Again, I said it earlier, me personally, I would have left. There's no way I'm doing this. And for that other team, all six of them to stay in that in the, the, the whole match? Like, what what is the reasoning behind it? I actually don't know. You're getting your ass handed to you in several different ways. Oh my God. God. This is unreal, dude. <laughs> he also plays like little no objective. It's not like he sits in the hard point to get extra score or something. Like, it really is just run and gun. This is just how he plays the game. It's crazy. These are just some of his highlights, but this is just how he plays all the time. Should I 1v1 him with haymakers only? I get my ass beat. You know what I realized? He has the Bruin heavy support grip on that thing. He's at 210, so he needs 97 kills. He gets 97 more kills, bro. 97 more. Probably could have had more, but... The last, like, minute and a half has been a little bit on the slower end of things. He is definitely getting really lucky with how long this match has lasted, though. Like, they're down 30 points. I can only guess that they end up winning because he has a nuke. Maybe he gets on the objective later. I don't know. 
It really is just kill, kill, kill. There's no dead parts into this at all. If he dies, he 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 dies. He dies fighting. He really does. God damn, man. I might have to try the VTOL setup. I don't know. I haven't. I used it. I used it quite a bit in MW2. But. I put it away. That thing just ended up killing me way too much, man. I, I just don't like that. Oh my god. The whole team's dead. Oh my god. They all spawned in that corner. Here we go. See, he's, he's sitting in the objective. Now he's maximizing his score, getting all of his kill streaks, and they're also coming back. So this is going to make the game last longer. He's purposely playing the hard point. I literally called it out. I knew it. I think he has two nukes so far. Two. Sorry for yawning. God, leave. I look so early as hell there. He's about to get a second or a third nuke. Oh, I don't think he cared. He got another advanced stop. It's like, oh, dude, he has an advanced 24 seven in this game. There's always an advanced UAV up. These dudes are hiding in crates. Okay, see, he's playing the objective now. He sat back a little bit. He's, yeah. This is how he's maximizing the game. If you set the hard point, pause the time, catch up in the score. There's only 30 seconds left, but they want to catch up. Yeah. I'd be doing the same thing. Yeah, he, he's checking the scoreboard to see how close he is to 300. He's, he has to be close. I didn't see how many he had, but he got off the objective, and his teammates have it now. Get in there. Not much time left. Like, 30 seconds left. If their teammates play the, the, the next, like, 40 seconds of hard point, you know, that obviously adds on to it, but... Someone left the game. Finally. Good lord, they gave up. I don't know who I respect more. My boy Desire here or the enemy team for staying? I don't know. It's hard to tell. Like, why the hell would you even want to play through this? I'm personally gone. I'm in the next room. He has 300. I couldn't see it. Let's see. How many does he have? There's no way he has 300. Yeah, he got 307. That killed him. 281. Oh, my God. How does he get 19 more? How? He gets 19 more kills in 19 seconds? There's a no way. My boy just be clutching up. There's no time left. How? Busted ass spawns. That's how. Dude. Okay. Does he have it? I, I, he flashes the scoreboard so quick, I can't even see it. I don't think he had, no, he might. 300, oh yeah, he calls it in. Three, he said, I got it right on the dot. I'm good, thank you. And then wrap it up, seven more kills, and that's about it. Wait. Oh my God, I just realized he has overkill and another shotgun. I just realized he had overkill and another shotgun on. This toxic mother effort, dude. And then here's the final scoreboard, man. Uh, 307 kills, 36,000 score, and he had a really good amount of hill time. That's gonna wrap for today's video, man. That is the number one player model for three. Again, make sure you guys are subscribed and click that thumbs up button if you wanna see a kill race, 1v1, me using his haymaker build, whatever it may be, show it some love. And other than that, I'll see you on the next one. You guys all stay safe. Have a great day and I'm out. Peace.